beginning with this breaking news. One week on from the AUKUS submarine deal announced by the Prime Minister, consensus within the Labor Party, well, could it be at an end? Live to Trudy McIntosh. Trudy, initially we had consensus within Labor. Mm -hmm. We didn't hear anyone speaking out about it within the coalition as well. But what's happened overnight and today? Well, Tom, Sky News can reveal that we now have three members of Labor's left faction, both publicly and privately, voicing concerns about this AUKUS submarine deal announced by the Prime Minister around a week ago in San Diego. Up until this point, the concerns within Labor have not surfaced. Uh, they have been there in Labor's branches, uh, within party members more broadly. But even in the wake of Paul Keating's intervention at Press Club last week, Week, Labor MPs were not willing to speak out publicly and back the arguments that he has been making. That has dramatically changed uh, overnight and this morning. Sky News can reveal that Libby Coker, the Victorian MP for the seat of Karangamite, and Michelle Ananda Raja, who's the member for Higgins, both from Labor's left factions, I'm told this morning publicly, uh, privately I should say, within Labor's uh, party room meeting, uh, asked questions about the impact of the massive spend on the submarines on other government services and also the implications on national uh, sovereignty. Now, this is a critique that had come from the former uh, Liberal Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. He's been raising concerns about sovereignty. Also overnight, Josh Wilson, the member for Fremantle, also, also from Labor's left faction, in the Parliament, voicing a significant critique of the AUKUS deal. Well, I support the work of the government. I'm not completely convinced that nuclear-propelled submarines are the only or best answer to our strategic needs. I am concerned about the question of nuclear waste. And, Speaker, I'm not yet convinced that we can adequately deal with the non-proliferation risks involved in what is a novel arrangement. I could be proved wrong about some of my concerns. Perhaps they're ill-founded in a way that I don't perceive, and I can live with that. But I would be wrong already if I wasn't prepared to identify and voice those concerns so, three members of Labor's left faction publicly and privately willing to voice concerns on the AUKUS deal. This shatters that consensus within the party on whether this is the best way to go forward. Paul Keating's intervention, Tom, at the National Press Club last week can't be underestimated. That is the impetus that emboldens these MPs to be able to speak uh, publicly and privately and able to raise their concerns, given the feedback that they're getting, I'm told, from within their own branches. Yeah, and that's the other element to this, isn't it, that they're getting... From what we understand, some pretty strong feedback from some people within these branches. Um, and that matters for them, you know. They've always got an eye on pre-selection, so that would be another part of the reason they're, they're speaking up at the very least. I guess we'll see what this turns into because Josh Wilson is the one person who's gone public. How many more will be willing to sort of go beyond questions, say they have problems with this, or is it sort of marking some concerns and moving on? That will be the interesting element for Labor. Certainly, Tom. And the interesting thing about Josh Wilson's intervention here is his seat and Perth in particular stands to benefit from the jobs that will come from AUKUS. There is an $8 billion upgrade to HMAS Sterling over the next decade. Now, he acknowledged in his speech to Parliament yesterday that the jobs benefit is in part in his electorate, but these are long-held concerns, Tom, for many within Labor's left, a concern about nuclear proliferation. They are clearly uneasy that we're going to have to be dealing with the nuclear waste problem, but also there's going to be nuclear-powered submarines in ports within Perth.